Our local, our regional, and our international viewers, I humbly apologize for any inconveniences caused due to circumstances beyond our control. Again, a very warm welcome to another edition of the program Conversations with Zalisa. I am Zalisa Budusing Rupani, humbly inviting you to uh, sit back, relax, but more importantly, absorb the relevant information we are about to share with you. Directing this morning, Alex Williams, and of course, we'd like to wish each and every one of you a fantastic Friday. Happy Friday to you, my friends, wherever you may be, whatever time it is in your destination, of course, happy Friday. It's Friday, the 21st of May, 2021, in this 21st century. Did you get that? So it's the 21st of the 21st year in the 21st century. Happy Friday. If you're celebrating a birthday, happy birthday to you. I know Sylvester out there uh, will be celebrating his birthday. Happy birthday to you from your beautiful wife, Christine, and the entire home circle and your friends at uh, Synergy TV. And of course, if it's your anniversary, happy anniversary to you and yours. You're someone special. So my friends, today in conversation with Captain King James, and he's all the way in Europe, live from Sofia, Bulgaria. And it's all about the one ecosystem. And I want you to take this number down now and don't hesitate to call Sarah at 7445503. Write it down on your book now. Later on in the program, we'll be in conversation with Cliff and Donna Samlal Singh. And we're going to be talking about the one shopper's mart. But right now, right now, it's about. The captain himself, King James, all the way from Sofia, Bulgaria, in Europe. Good, good afternoon, or good evening, I should say, rather. It's 5 p.m. there. And welcome to the yes, program, yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, pleasant good morning to you. I'm um, Zalisa. Pleasant good morning to all the viewers. That's another sound of my voice. Everybody international, local, wherever you are, I wish you a fantastic Friday as we have yet another day of history before us because history is made as we live as we live we make history so do something do something today do something yeah you'll never have the opportunity to have today again you know boss so you really have to capitalize and utilize each day wisely by making the right choices and decisions for our tomorrows you know indeed 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 and as i sit out here and um Having having fun, but definitely working. So I can't sit and, and, and act like everything is just glorious and just pure energy. No, no, there's a lot of work going on. And today I may song, I may feel a little weary as you picked up in my voice earlier when we were speaking. Yeah. And it's because I had a, I had a, I had a late late um, morning and an early rising. But definitely, I believe it's all for the right purpose, and that purpose is to continue the growth of the one ecosystem and a lot of fine tooling. Is going on right now 
as we prepare for the event. All roads lead to the event. Um, very saddened by the news and what I'm hearing coming out of Trinidad and Tobago with the pandemic and the situation of it being kind of out of control. But I believe all will be well. I believe everything will get handled very soon, sooner than people think. So just keep trusting the process, holding the feet, and don't get deterred. Don't get deterred by negative energy and negative individuals, please. There's, there's not too many negative people, but the few that they are around move around a lot. And I say that because in this business, it have people in certain parts of the world that just giving negative energy. And here it is, I'm sitting in the headquarters inside one of the office meeting rooms on the fourth story floor. So the building has over four floors on it with an elevator. Each floor belongs to the company. I know this company exists. Physically, this company is working. There's people right outside. I think they're packing up to go home now. But but at the end of the day, the business is a functioning business and some things are happening. And I am saying to you, if you don't know, you don't understand the one ecosystem, please find the nearest active IME and ask your questions there. If you're listening to the show today and you don't comprehend what the One Ecosystem is all about, find out how could you participate to join this global society, this global community, and what type of value you could add in being part of such a society where you could rub shoulders with people all across the globe that has a same mindset of you, which is being an educated minor and wanting betterment for their family. Looking forward to leaving a wealth generational legacy for their family. And now is your time to explore this because of cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, and the world of. Captain James, <coughs> I, 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 we, we, I echo uh, you know, what, what you say, and I, I, and I endorse what you say because it's important that we capitalize now, we take advantage now, we do something while we see the, the iron is hot. And then there are many people out there who are watching throughout the world, as you know, and they're saying, but we're in the middle of a pandemic and, and we have no jobs and we have no income coming in. How, what sets the one ecosystem apart? Why should I be a part of this? What is it going to do for me now in these trying times? Excellent, excellent question. That's a beautiful question. Now, personally for me, I see it as a win-win situation for many individuals. And hear what I mean. Right now, yes, there's some... ...have those fears, those parents, those who would have lost their job. Now is the opportunity for you to learn something new. We're speaking about the future. We're speaking about blockchain technology. People are going out there and paying for courses, paying for school, and paying for things, even in a pandemic. They're looking to gravitate and find something new that they can do. And that's something new that they can do, more than likely, is going to be to a job or some kind of craft or something that's going to become redundant. What we are showing is not just future, you know, but it's present tense as well. We are here right now in a world of crypto and blockchain technology where nobody understands and we still understand it. I am asking you to redirect your buying power. What buying power are you going to say? Listen, majority of humans have money saved in the bank for a rainy day. I want you to know that that rainy day has arrived. I want you to know that if you choose to join our ecosystem and become an educated miner, you too can recruit educated miners. What do I mean by educated miners? People that join the one ecosystem process and they'll be able to submit the free promotional tokens they receive with their one academy package into the blockchain to receive ones that they can participate on the DSG platform. So if you are a merchant, if you are a person who's selling goods and services and you don't have no way to put your business online, you just have all this stock lock up in your warehouse or maybe at your house and you have no way to do business because we are under an SOE. Guess what? The internet is not closed. Guess what? The mail service and the carriers are still working and they have a job to carry goods and services from door to door and different things of that nature. Our business would allow you to still be in business. So my thing is, your shop don't have to close. If you're a person that's lost your job, learn a new craft. Find yourself in a new understanding that you can be able to apply this new understanding by helping people, having the conversation, taking the so-called downtime. 
Because from my understanding, in the next three months, we are under this SOE. Of course, if the situation improves, it will be lifted, some of the restrictions. But the, what I'm saying to you right now, we are currently under immense stress. Many, many, many individuals. People who are working at KFC, people who are working at the fast food outlets, people who are working in the club, the casino, wherever they are. The vendors, These are the individuals the that need. The street food, yeah. I'm telling you, even the coconut water vendors, Correct. they're under immense pressure. These individuals need to add to their portfolio. They need to see and understand what a digital wallet is. They need to get involved in digital battery. They need to not just sit there and say, oh God, I don't know nobody, what happened to me? No, 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 no. You have an opportunity and this is what we're giving now. In this state of emergency, we have opportunities still because the wealthy people during these crises, guess what happened to them? They become wealthier. Why would we continue to watch a cycle happen over and over and over again and we remain to be the same persons? From my teachings of a, 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 a young man that I follow who's no longer with us by the name of Jim Ron, he said in order for things to change, you have to change. Many people want things around them to change but don't want to change. Okay. And if you don't want to change, why are you expecting a different result? That's the tantamount to madness and insanity. Agreed. And I am saying to you, I want to change. I want to change my circumstances. I want to see a difference. Hence the reason why I'm in Bulgaria. There's some improvements. We are not a perfect the company is run by humans. Humans can make errors. Yeah. So there's some improvements that I would like to see. So I needed to come and participate on a day-to-day -day basis, face-to-face, -face, eyeball to eyeball, belly button to belly button, so I can make sure I get my point across so we could improve. And I'm letting you guys know improvements are happening as we speak. Some situations and problems that people were having are being solved. The situation of this IT and what's happening with the IT, I spoke to them directly. They misunderstood some things. Now they grasped it fully. Why? Because I was willing to change my location, make what was necessary for me to make with my family, and get here so I could make sure things are afloat and going to be in the right direction. Why you must sit down and do nothing but expect change. No, 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 no. The money is there. Money is out there for you to, to get. And we just need to get up and go get it. And the way for you to get it is to become new. The one ecosystem would allow you to become new, my friends. I want to thank you kindly for taking time off of your busy schedule there. I know that you're there to do intense business and change and reform and things like that. But, uh, you know, you take the time to connect with us, to let us know things are happening. Um, there's a different dynamics that's happening. You've, you know, you've made the sacrifice to leave Trinidad and Tobago and travel all the way there uh, in Europe. And um, I want to wish you continued success as you continue to grow from strength to strength. You're the captain and you know, you're know you really, really doing exceptionally well. And those sacrifices will not go in vain, of course. We will benefit from it. Your closing remarks, Captain. Well, Zidi, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. I want to thank everyone that's listening. I want to thank you for Donna Sama I just want to continue the program. Uh, for me, man, I don't want to close. I want you guys to become open open your mind because if you have a mind that's closed like a parachute is no good take a leap and take a leap of faith and open that mind man and receive the information be willing be willing so thank you so much for your time Lisa. i see you sometime next week pleasing the lord all the best to you be safe be happy and continue Blessings. to do well all the best to you sir ciao ciao finally. of course they're in conversation live from sofia bulgaria in europe the one and only Captain King James. And of course, this is the program Conversations with Zalisa. Stay with us when we return. I will be in conversation with Cliff and Donna Samlal Singh. And it's all about the One Shoppers Mart. Today, it's about the One Ecosystem. To find out more how you could be part of it, how your business can grow and progress, how you can have the opportunity for growth, you don't have to close your doors. You have an already clientele. You'll find out more when we return. But call Sarah now at 744-5503. That's 744-5503. Stay with us. We'll return right after these important messages.
When I was growing up, I didn't have the opportunity to be taught or educated in finance. And this put me at a disadvantage later on in life. The SuperTech program offers financial education for ages five and up. It's simple and it's at the pace of the child. So, give your child the advantage. Let them learn today so that they could lead tomorrow. You know what fun it is. This is free financial education for kids, age five to twelve, and experience for children to learn concepts of money and finance. Super fun. Heights Clinic. Live blood analysis with instant results. Colon hydrotherapy, ozone therapy, prolozone therapy, complete detox, weight loss, oxygen baths, diet and nutritional programs, supplements and health foods, treatment for all lifestyle diseases, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, men and women issues and much more at Eden Heights Clinic, 13 Montague Avenue, Trincity. 763-5292-6408985 Visit AgriSavers Limited, number 19 Orange Grove Tray, St. Augustine For all your agriculture, livestock, pet, agri-equipment, hydroponics, cannabis, fishing tackle supplies and much more Open Monday to Friday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturdays 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Contact 473-6074-663-1094. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Welcome, welcome back to the program Conversations with Salisa, where we continue to inform, educate, empower, and answer those unanswered questions. On the telephone line, we're pleased to have with us, I like to call them the power couple, and it's all about the one ecosystem today, and they're going to be talking to us about the one shopper's mart. And I'm speaking of no other than the power couple themselves. And that, of course, is Cliff and Donna Samlal Singh. Good morning and welcome to this beautiful couple. Hi, good morning, good morning. Nice, uh, hi. nice to have hi, you. Hi, Good morning to all your callers. Good. Good morning, all. Good morning. Zalisa, hi. Hi, my dear. Hi. Hi again. And I just would like to uh, introduce you both to our... You are a little low. Again. And so, but um, are you hearing us clearly? I'm hearing you clearly, as clear as can okay, be. Okay, great. Great. So I just want to let our viewers know that Cliff Samlal Singh has been into finance, including banking and credit union operations, and, um, and Donna has been an educator. They've been part of the fintech industry for the past four years. They're parents of three absolutely gorgeous children. They've got some beautiful grandchildren as well. And they continue to grow and learn more in the world of finance through this business. And this business we're talking about, of course, is the One Ecosystem. And today they're going to be talking to us particularly about the Shoppers Mart. And you know, as women, and there are some men as well I know love to shop, but as women we kind of missing out with the shopping. But you are here today to ensure that we don't have to be worried about shopping because the one shopping, Shoppers Mart is alive, and you're going to tell us why. 
Hi. Hi, good morning. Um, before we get into the choppers, Martin, I hope that we could just get into a couple of things that we even up there. Is that okay with you, Teresa? Hi. Um, first of all, I want to, Lisa, I would like to express um, thanks to there is one there, there are certain business people up on my side here. One in particular, EJ Auto Supplies. That's Troy and his very straightforward but understanding wife. They run a, a, at a bad place yeah. and they always do something your program. Always. Oh. So, um, anytime you're up on the side, it's that village in Aruka. You know, just tell them, you have to get and tell them how to do it. All right? Oh, thank you right. kindly and a good morning and blessings okay. to these wonderful people. Yeah, good, good morning. And um, I think you're doing us an injustice here this morning. Eh? You're putting us on after you made up King James. So we, the boss so himself. Hope we have the boss himself. <laughs> the boss himself, that's right. Yeah. But you know, um listening to Cordelia Cord Cord is it, so uplifting, you know, he left Fernando Tobago, gone to Bulgaria and you know they still have pictures with a thousand wood. But you know, here in talk there that's a entire learning institution we got here this morning. Yes. And you know, people might want to ask, but why would this one ecosystem be appealing to us in Trinidad and Tobago? Well, I just want to summarize by saying you have over 190 countries represented by certain individuals in each of those countries who understand, have a common appreciation of this one particular currency that we can use to be a business partner. So Trinidad and Tobago now can become a business partner with over 190 other countries. It's not going to be a fantastic future. It most All likely. that we just grasp the understanding from now. That's what we're doing. Just spreading the understanding. So when that happens, the person who grasped the understanding and took action will be right there. That's it. All right? So I also want to pass on to Donna because I want to show... In this coronavirus era that we're going through now, that cryptocurrency is simply doing our part to enhance the health of our nation. So, here, here, why is this our part? Over to Donna. Hi, Zalisa, again, and Donna. good morning to all our viewers. Be safe and may God bless our nation yeah. and take us through and out of this coronavirus situation. So true, thank you. Lisa, how are you this morning? I am coping, you know, I'm taking it one day at a time. Praise God. All right. I listen to Cordell and I'm listening to Cliff talking and, uh, you know, statistics show us that uh, 66 million plus people have been involved in using cryptocurrency. One of the major benefits they use it for is to make payments. Now, just imagine, I went into a business place recently, mm -hmm. and everybody who is making a payment, the cashier, the young lady behind the window, is sanitizing her hand because every dollar she touched could carry some sort of germ. We don't know. Correct. Yeah, and, and so Lisa, I'm looking at her and saying, my God, the sanitizer is probably going into her body by now. Because people are coming and going, and between each of us, she's sanitizing. Now, I am feeling good because I'm telling myself that at least it's not passing back to me. Yeah. And this is where cryptocurrency adds great value. Because I can simply use my phone, Zalisa, yeah. and pay you. Correct. Uh, right? And you can use your phone and pay me. Correct. No virus. No virus exchange in there. Just love and cryptocurrency. Correct. So when I looked at it, added to all the other benefits that cryptocurrency come in. Now, we know it's an unknown market, and they're still looking at it and everything. But my challenge, or I should say, my, my question to the viewers is this. When you want to become a millionaire, would you go to a shoemaker to find out how? No, you will go to a millionaire. So when you look at people like Elon Musk 
and Robert Kiyosaki and all these people who are saying that cryptocurrency is the way of the future. Are you just going to sit in your living room and continue to say, not me? The benefit that cryptocurrency offers to us as a people and as a nation is critical at this time of COVID. And as I shared, all we pass on through the phone when you pay with cryptocurrency is simply love and cryptocurrency. Okay, I'm passing back to Cliff. No, uh, um, Donna, the thing yes. is, before you pass back to Cliff, uh, it's important that we, we talk a little bit about this because your background, you come from a background of educating. You're an educator, you still lecture. Um, so you are one of the people that we have to say is like a guru with regards to helping mold and shape and instill morals and values, inculcate the right positive things into our children. Um, and that's where your strength is. God blessed you with that. So you understand the importance particularly of where our children are at and where they should be especially the young minds who are out there with degrees that are sitting home doing nothing they're disenchanted they're upset they're going into depression mental illness is now hitting because they've made all these sacrifices throughout the years to have uh you know a strong education and something to say a, a degree but yet nothing to do but the point is there's so much that they can do now and capitalize on if only they continue to educate themselves in this field. So, there's, so it's important that you explain to people, young people in particular, do not close doors, do not sit on the back burner. However, what you need to do is continue to empower yourself by educating yourself. So well said. Really well said. You know, um, I was marking exam recently, and it had to be put on hold because of the coronavirus scenario. Right. Of course, I'm in front of children. I'm interacting with not just the child, but the families that are connected to those children. Correct. And there were about three of them in this particular area that was exposed and uh, they had to stay away from the exam. Now, this says a lot, eh? because coronavirus is not just affecting the age, it's affecting from, how we would say, captain to cook. And uh, this says to me that even the young in our society need to be aware all that is happening around them, not just with coronavirus, but financially in the world. Correct. Because money or currency is used by all. And a young person, let's say next, and I would be so bold to say next 10 years, if so far down the road, the children will not be using, or I should say they will not only be using fiat currency, but they would be involved in cryptocurrency and other types of payments that is occurring in the financial system as we see. So it's important for children also to open their minds because they're the foundation of our future. They are leaders and they are tomorrow. going to take us. Yes. You're so correct. And so this th is thank you. And they will and I, I was just to end. If uh, we have a strong foundation in our young people, financially, education-wise, I believe I can safely say we will have a stronger nation. A young people with a greater value system, a greater education base, a knowledge of the finance and politics of this world, I think we'll be in good hands in this country. Well said. Thank you, Zulu. You're welcome, darling. This is the program Conversations with Zalisa in conversation this morning with Cliff and Donna, Sam Lal Singh, and it's all about the shoppers, one shoppers mart, as we continue to inform, educate, empower, and answer those unanswered questions. 
please remember to call Sarah at 7445503, 7445503. Stay with us. We'll return right after these important messages. speaking about do you know what is cryptocurrency do you know what is blockchain technology are you aware of what we currently face on a regular basis with quantitative easing fractional reserve lending do you know I am inviting you to come out of the financial darkness and into financial light the only way for us to achieve that is with education and one particular type of education is what I'm speaking about I'm asking you to join the one Academy it is a financial revolution of teaching regarding introduction to finance cryptocurrency blockchain technology helping you understand the world of money and what is money what is money money is simple it is what we agree upon to exchange for goods and services if you want full comprehension Join the One Academy. Antediluvian Native Center of Life Extension and Health Recovery. Coming from the Garden of Eden, the Antediluvian Native Center brings to you breakthrough medicines and anti-aging technologies for all ailments and diseases in the body. Stretching from ancient past to our modern times, we bring to you all the natural therapy, solar therapy, hydrotherapy, song therapy, aromatherapy, nutritional therapies, naturopathic treatments, and homopathic remedies as we create opportunities of hope and celebrate longevity. And remember, the healing is from God. This is Full 100, an all-natural herbal dietary supplement formulated exclusively for men. Our proprietary blend was designed with one goal in mind, to improve your overall health rejuvenating your vitality, energy, strength, and libido. Want to be at your peak performance in everything you do? Then get Full 100. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Oh my God. Looking for a memorable gift? Shop at Plaza Concepts Online Boutique for jewelry, stationery, accessories, pin brooches, personal care items, journaling sticker kits, and much more. We offer delivery through Trinidad and Tobago directly to your home or office. Pay with cash or debit. Find us on Facebook and Instagram, Faza Contacts. <music>
Welcome, welcome back to the program Conversations with Zalisa, where we continue to inform, educate, empower, and answer those unanswered questions. This morning is all about the one ecosystem, the one shopper's mart. Remember to call Sarah at 7445503, 7445503. If you would like to find out more, you will need more knowledge. All those questions you may have, all those concerns you may have, you'll find the answers that you're seeking, all right? So remember to call her, ask her to have a rep, you know, connect with you so that you'll have that one-on-one -on -one interaction. In conversation with the power couple, um, a couple that I do admire and respect, I'm speaking of no other than Cliff and Donna Samlal Singh. Cliff, of course, his strength in finances and Donna in education, what a combination. And um, they've been very successful. And of course, here to continue to inform, educate, and empower us and help us uh, to make the right choices when it comes to our future. Welcome back to the program. Of course, we're doing this because of the restrictions and we're trying to be very extra cautious. So they're on the telephone line in the comfort and safety of their office. And of course, um, welcome back to both of you. Hi. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks again. Um, you know, it's, it's it was touching just now when you spoke about you know, persons feeling as though they, their minds are closed yeah. because of the constraints that are all around them. Mm -hmm. And I want to draw an analogy because I like to observe nature and see what lessons can be learned. I don't know if I share this analogy, if it will be helpful to anybody out there. All right? But um, it works for me. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay, so we are good. I like to mine um, aquarium fish, so I have a couple of aquariums. Right. And about two, two and a half months ago, I had this tank here, this aquarium tank, and I decided to put some goldfish in. Mm -hmm. So I went down to the pet shop, bought a few goldfish, put it in the, the tank. And just about three weeks ago, I went back to the same pet shop, and some of the same fish, so this is what the guy was telling me, was still in the tank which I had bought from him. Mm -hmm. But my goldfish were bigger than those that he had here. Right. And he, the food that I am using is what he recommended. So that's the same thing he uses with his fish. Okay. The difference, however, is the environment. Because now these fish I have are in a bigger tank, and of course, in my past, I talk to them, that kind of thing. <laughs> All I'm saying is that because the environment has changed, the fish were allowed to flourish. And we tend to be a um, byproduct of the circumstances of our environment. If we could find a way to change our circumstances, I guarantee you that your outcome will be different. And your, your environment is what lies between the two ears. Because that now is extended as to what you attract. And so change what's happening in your mind, in your mind and it's going to change. Second lesson from that. In the same goldfish, and this is even more important, I found. Yeah. In the number of goldfish I have, we have a couple of them who would go to the top to eat the feed. And the others would wait at the bottom for the rest of the food to fall. Now they're hungrier, mm -hmm. but they're waiting until the food falls before they start to eat. So it means now that they will only eat what is left back by those that went to the top to get it. I found that to be a learning lesson because well, we have an ecosystem which is a, is, is, is a powerful and potential income earner and life changer. But you know, a number of persons now don't realize just come up to the top, reach for it, right? They prefer to wait until so many persons endorse the food they know and they see that it's working and so on. By that time it happens, guess what? So many of the advantages and benefits have gone to those who went to the top to take first. So guys, we're we'll here inviting persons to just reach to the top and make yourself available to the benefit that the ecosystem offers. All right. I don't want to keep you all in suspense. No, more. I think that... The other to get Cliff, into the shopper's man. Cliff, I think that was brilliant. I want to commend you for saying that because I, it was simply <laughs> awesome and brilliant. And that was a really, really good example that you've used. So a lot of us can now sit back and relate to it and wake up, shake up and wake up and get going. Yes. All right, thanks a lot. And again, stop being a bottom feeder. 
<laughs> well said. I mean to say well said. I was watching a show recently with Ralph Lauren. If you know Ralph Lauren, he is the man who designed polo and so on. Correct. And he, he said, if I had listened to critics, I would never be where I am today. Mm -hmm. And that brought home to me, wow, there'll be critics, there'll be naysayers, there'll be those who will say that's a waste of time. But you mm -hmm. have to know what you see and you have to go after it, like the fish, right? To the top. I just want to make, uh, before I go into the shepherd's mark, I just want to give a little thought as an educator to people who are at home, and if you have the availability of computers and so on, this is a time for family, for you to bond with your children even more. And it's a little time too for you to exercise. So there are many videos on YouTube where you can go and access, for example, like I do with my granddaughter. There's one where you they show you how they build houses out of mud, how they play certain games, how they, they do food, a whole set of learning exercises. Mm -hmm. But the one that I found was the most fun, and we have to introduce fun into the equation, was videos on dancing, where you dance with the video. Mm -hmm. So my granddaughter and I would be in front of the TV dancing with the video. Yeah, that, that's what my daughter and I do all the time because I have to you keep see? her active. So I have to find myself doing things like that with her. And I enjoy it. It takes me yeah. away from all the worries, it, you know. That's right. It is fun. So just a little stuff. Thank you for sharing because that. Because we are in this situation. And uh, all I will say is God and God alone. We look to him and ask him to take us out of it. You know, Donna, so, I just wanna I just wanna throw back a little bit on something that you course. said before because it really related to me directly. And if I had listened to people who said to me, Are you crazy to go and do a show on your own? Are you crazy? What is wrong with you? And this was in the, the beginning of the pandemic last year in the middle of a storm with so much that was going on in my life. And, and there were people who said, what, what is wrong with you? You know, you don't need to do this. But you know what? Today I'm going strong. Despite the, the, the pandemic is worse and we're in the second wave and whatever, I'm not going to give up. I'm my own boss. This is my show. It's going well. And had I listened to those people, I probably would have been home going crazy. Guess, guess what? Oprah Winfrey, you don't say more. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. So nothing is going to hold me back and stop me from, from doing what I need to do. Many people would have Bless said God. to me too, what? Because it's you in this cryptocurrency thing? Well, guess what? Two of my shows on this program, on Conversations with Zelisa, I'm on the deal shaker. So, that's evidence enough. You know, so nobody's going to hold evidence. me back. Nobody's going to tell me other because I did my research. I had conversations with powerful people like you and Muriel and many other people, and um, you know I'm doing well. To God be praised. Zelisa, the statistics I shared earlier, I don't know if the viewers remember, from 2018 to now, there are 66 million plus users of cryptocurrency. These are all mad people. I mean, it's working it's for them. out there being used by those who are aware that this is the future. And with that in mind, we decided to add a little twist to our deal data, to our ecosystem, yeah. by introducing, well, not fully, because we have to wait, of course, until the government has removed their restrictions, and which is so important right now right. for us to do the right thing mm -hmm. as a nation. I mean, it is sad when people don't understand, stay home unless it's necessary to go out. Agreed. Six feet social distancing. Some people don't know how to measure six feet, and they're still doing grouping. But I pray that we will get a discipline, that we will do the right thing so that we can come out of this. 
So we decided. So, so Donna, so, I, need, I need you yeah. to hold this thought. We're going to take a short break. And when we return, you're going to be telling us all about the One Shoppers Mart. We're excited. We're, you're very eager to hear about this. Um, so stay with us. We'll return right after these important messages. Thank you, Zilly. Good day all, my name is King James, part of the One Life Network Caribbean team. If you have no knowledge of what is cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, I'm inviting you to get started with this concept. It is $1,610 for you to participate in a financial curriculum that would help shape your world and your future, but better and greater than that. In our curriculum, there's no school that teaches our children about finance. This is a unique opportunity for you to get involved in practical and theory. You need the best of both worlds. The theory we offer allows you to participate in the practical. Position yourself strategically. Get a starter package from one of your local IMAs, somewhere near to you, some cousin, friend, uncle, some loved one. Do not hold back yourself from getting started with our organization. One life for more life. One Academy, join the financial revolution. Modern townhouses for sale at Garden View Residences Gate Development in Aruka. Brand new three bedrooms, two and a half baths, modern kitchen, quartz countertops, marble top vanities, water heaters. For more information, call now 622-6601. Welcome, welcome back to the program, Conversations with Zalisa. In conversation this morning with Cliff and Donna Samlal Singh. And of course, they're talking to us about the One Shoppers Mart. It's all about the One Ecosystem. And of course, remember to call Sarah now at 744-5503. 744 for questions, concerns. Feel free to connect with her. Donna and Cliff, welcome back to the program. Donna, you were about to get started to tell us all about the One Shoppers Mart. Please, my friend, go right ahead. Thank you, Zalisa. Thank you so much. The so One Shoppers Mart, I would like to say it's a brain child, a baby. It has not been booted yet, but the idea behind it is that we want to provide our community members of our community, people outside of our community, an opportunity to shop in a safer manner. Why I say this, they, we, have, we are offering basic items as well as a few extra little touches, but basic mainly, and this can be delivered to your home if you require, or you can have curbside pickup and online ordering or telephone, mobile ordering. I believe it is necessary right now for us to limit the movements to the supermarket. And the reason this one shopper's market was started is we saw that we as a community, we could help by doing this. Many people, a lady said to me once, that she likes to go to the supermarket and touch her items and that sort of thing. But at this point in time, 
we need to limit those touches. Okay. And what makes it even more beautiful, we are using fiat currency, cash, and we are embracing coins, the mm. use of coins, the use of cryptocurrency as well. When we begin, it will be on a very small platform, but we hope that people will see the benefits of this one shopper's mark and they will come on board. We'll be happy to deliver to your home or offer you curbside pickup. Right, whatever we see is necessary to make it safer for you to shop I at one shop. I think this is excellent because like the deal shaker, the success on the deal shaker is that you could go there and purchase up to fruits and vegetables. You could get somebody to um, you know, take care of your car. You could get a, there's so many different things. Um, that you could do there. This one shopper's mart, I am saying it's it's definitely going to be a success, especially in these in these times. Thank that you, we're in. and we hope to go from strength to strength as we embrace more products and more stores. Thank you, love. I welcome it because, um, you know, especially for those of us with our coins, we can utilize for those of us who are being very extra careful and, you know, that delivery service, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant idea and I think it's happening at the right time because this is where we're heading, huh? Not here, here that last part, but um, what Donna may not have told you mm -hmm. that this is supposed to be a convenient store, so... It's going to be a wide variety of items, right? Of course, in the beginning, we start off at a smaller variety, smaller variety and we're going to build the portfolio. Right? So, so it's, like a, it's going to be, I'm, I'm picturing in my mind, it's like a one-stop shop, one of those yes. big department shops that you could Correct. get. Um, Correct. We, we do, you're not just only going to get food items, but you could get so many other things. That's it, Melissa. Brilliant. That's it. Shopping online. That's correct. Excellent. And that's the way to go. It's here. It's, it's right here. Uh, it's the preferred choice. It is going to be the ultimate choice. It is the future. Okay. Yeah, so a so person could understand that what Donna was saying just now shows the open-mindedness. We're not going to be burying our heads in the sand and saying, boy, because of this um, pandemic and it's going to be with us for the next couple of years that we're supposed to be running scared. No, we are going to be facing that because if you look in history, you're going to see a number of businesses that started off in hard times when people, look at Microsoft, oh, um, brought by Bill Gates, right? Look at when it came out, when people said that the economic climate just wasn't right. I could go on and decide different companies. Listen, guys, let me listen. I know I might be giving away my age here. I remember as a little boy walking into Port of School and I used to see companies like Stevens and Johnson, Glendon Inn, Woolworth. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys remember those names. Right? The older head would, the younger person would. Why? Because those were companies that we thought would be here forever. Forever. Like Kipalani's. Remember Kipalani's? Kipalani's, that's right. That's right. Right? right? So... There are a number of companies which we thought that would be there that sell by the wayside. I live in Haruka. So the, I see a number of businesses that start and come to our hall. The most recent I'm seeing heading that way, a number of you might know is the Trin City Mall. Yeah. You're going to Trin City Mall and you see the place like a ghost town. And that was happening before the coronavirus. Yeah. And heightened Correct. more by, by... What about all these merchants who would have spend the money and, 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 and rent it and they have stuff on the, on, on the store, they took out second mortgages, they dream that. You know, look at the risk that they have taken and they, they, I hope they learn lessons from it so that they don't stop now that they're able to get into another area but a number of persons would feel as though they, they're sour. And you may go to these persons and tell them about this opportunity we have and they say, that is a risk that I'm not sure I want to take. But they, they, they passed through with, with areas that they thought they were familiar with and it fell through. So why not take a look at what we have to offer? If Trin City Mall could fall through, True. what is the statistics for, for many, many individuals who are going to try to do it on their own? Correct. Right? Guys, 
it is right there. And I am telling you, this has been around, in, as far as I am concerned, myself and my wife, in the five years. And we're going stronger and stronger. We are faced with this, but we're going stronger and stronger. And I know that we're going to be close. I'm just now. But I just want to mention, the pandemic, the coronavirus, a lot of people are very saddened by what's happening. But I want persons to understand, not that I, lo- I want to take away from the seriousness of it, but I want persons to know that there is a high rate of persons who overcome the coronavirus. Because deaths are less than 2%, I'm talking about in that scenario, deaths are less than 2% of the cases. So please, if you find out that you're tested positive for coronavirus, it is not an automatic death sentence. Correct. All right? So Correct. take the positive out of it. Please, please, please understand, exercise caution, but it is not an automatic death sentence. Correct. All right? We still will live. Nature finds a way to filter for us to move forward. All right, so that, so please uh, embrace it as it is. Cliff, I'm happy that you said that because I know a lot of us are very, you know, we're worried, we're concerned, and we're alarmed. Um, but, but, but what you said is very important. There were many people who got the virus and are doing really well now. And you have to have an open mind. You need to maintain your positivity and don't allow the negativity and the darkness to get the better of you, but abstract the best out of every situation. And like you say, so many people... Um, are closing doors and they feel, well, it's the end of it all. Well, you know what? It could be the beginning of something that is simply wonderful. The best is always yet to come. It is yet to come if you make the choice to open that door and allow it to come. But if you keep that door closed and you have a closed mind, you can never move forward. It's like bringing all of your baggage with you. Let it go. Let it be. Out with the old and in with the new. That's the attitude. I love that, Vanessa. But it's the truth, Donna. It's the truth. Your closing comments, please. The shoppers mark that Donna spoke about here is going to be the future for all I to be able to start and use the coins. I'm not saying that this is not the first time that we've had, because we had a deal shaker right. around. But yeah. a number of people have been looking for more and more items that they can access. Right. The shoppers mark is the way to get by. And guess what? It is going to be, the model is going to be copied by other countries. So eventually you are going to be part of this global scenario. So this one shopper star that you heard about this morning, is, you're going to hear about it in other countries eventually also. Great. I open my arms to it. I endorse it. And I can't wait for it to start. Me too. All the best to both of you. May you continue to grow from strength to strength. I thank you kindly. And we look forward to, you know, joining and hooking up with you all really soon again so we could find out a little more about the Shoppers Mart and how soon it's going to get started. That's what I want to talk about. All the best to both of you. Thank you so much. All the best to you too, Holly. Bye-bye. Be safe. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day, all of you. Thank you, sir. Be safe. So, my friends, this is where we've got to wrap things up for today. I want to remind you we do have a repeat of our program today at 3 p.m. right here on Synergy TV and at 4 a.m. in the morning. Tell your friends, tell your family members. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. You can check us out on Facebook, Conversations with Zalisa T and T. Please like it and share it. It's relevant and important information. Remember to call Sarah if you want change, if you want some sort of dynamics, if you want to find out more, then call Sarah 744-5503, 744-5503. My friends, I remind you, please, please wear your mask. Please sanitize. Respect social distancing. Please be a solution to the problem and not the problem. Don't be a statistic, all right? Do what you need to do. Be kind, be courteous, be giving, be careful, and reminding you that with God, all things are possible. I am Zalisa Budusing Rupani. Thank you so much for choosing us. <laughs>